off-roading in St. Kitts. Yeah, going up, going up a mountain. Rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll. Doing, Bryce? Today we're going on the 4x4 Jeep and Beach excursion. Uh, we bought it through Carnival. I'm um, really looking forward to it. Um, see what we find. What do you think, Corbin? Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. See what's going on. It's a little bit of a rainy day, but you know what they say. No rain, no rainbow, baby. <laughs> no rain, no rainbow. This is a cool dip. Twenty-one people oh, no. and a band made for fourteen. How are you feeling about that? Hey, it's doable. We made it. We're making it work. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I think. If it goes. All right, morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Don't sound like a good morning. <laughs> All right, my name is Anthony. I'll be your bus driver slash tour guide. Don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. It's a bit rainy, but with it being wet, it's more fun. All right. There you go. Let's go. Guys, good morning again. Good morning. Good morning. It doesn't sound like a good morning. Good morning. Oh. All right, all right. Um, again, my name is Anthony. This is Rahim along with me. He'll, he'll be assisting. Okay? So we're here to have fun, right? Yes. All right, just a few rules. As you know, you can't really put rules with fun. It doesn't really go together. Right? <laughs> but um, nothing much. However, um, we're off-road about 80% of the time, so um, we just ask for you once you're off-road, if you come up on traffic on the off-road, just stick to your left. Because you basically see that we drive on the left side of the road here. Um, however, some of the Jeeps are still left-hand drive, some are right-hand drive. So some of you might have a good experience, and would have a small experience of right-hand drive vehicle. Alright? Um, not much to talk about not much rules because you guys are on vacation all right so we want y'all to have fun however on the way back from the beach we have about 15 minutes on the road this is yeah this is when you get off of vacation mode and need you to focus all right it's not difficult at all it might seem so it's not you're going to be following the vehicle immediately in front of you so um we ask for you to try and keep close not too close but close enough because okay. we don't want traffic getting in between us there are roundabouts once we go about go around those roundabouts traffic can come in but once you're close enough they won't so we want to try and keep the whole group together so nobody could um veil off to any different rules that we are not taking all right i have a question sure. Is, are the jeeps automatic or stick shift uh automatic for most only one stick shift you drive stick shift well, I can, but I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many people per Jeep? Is it four? Well, it's, it's four. It's four. four? It's okay. Four. Some right. have four doors, some have two. We'll seat you all accordingly. Um, just let me know who all is in your group. How many? Four, five, two. All right. can, can you tell us the agenda for the day? We're going to ride for a while, then we're going to So go what we're going to do, we're going to drive the trails up to certain points, vantage points, um, you know, Vantage points being that they are, we're gonna have some nice views back down to town. We're gonna have nice valley views on the other side, and then we're going to the beach. Okay. So the, um, there's a halfway point where we switch around drivers for you know for those of you who share and what's not. So um, we'll let you know as well. And the tops don't come off. Well, we we won't advise it today. Okay. Today's a very rainy day. It's raining off and on. Okay. So we don't know. We don't want to have to stop in the middle of the trail to deal with that. Okay. Alright, four of you. How many of you? Six of us. Six. Three. 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 Four. Okay. Manual driver? Anybody drive manual? Okay. Oh, no, sorry. Bill's. Sorry. 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 Hey! <laughs>
Jeep tour. Jeep tour. Got the Jeep. Got the Jeep. It's uh, got 118,000 miles on it. A bunch of warning lights on it. <laughs> Brought a little uh, piece from home with us. You ready to do some off road? Yeah, let's do some off road. 80% of the drives off road, they said. We were driving on the left, so that'll be fun. You ever driven on the left before? I uh, never. I never have. Okay. Oh. Here we go, baby. Oh, this looks fun. About to get bumpy up in here. Yeah, getting off road. I would like to say that the. Um... They're screaming. <laughs> They're screaming in that car. Here we go, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. There's a nice jeep shot. Oh yeah, off-roading. More like dirt riding, but uh, <laughs> are we off-road? I'll let it go. It's in this back hole to all your, your buddies in Jeep school. Jeep school? Jeep you Jeep 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 Nation. I will say there's no trailer car, so if you uh, we fall off, we uh, get kind of lost. Lost, lost in St. Kitts. Lost in St. Kitts. Is it in four wheel drive or no? It's just a two wheel drive. It's a good, I wonder if they do this one for money. Putting that on the Instagram. Ain't nothing like Jeep life, am I right? I have to Jeep life. Let's take Jeep life. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know what beeps. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I don't know. It says Corbin doesn't have a seatbelt on. I do. What's that light on down? Oh, uh, passenger airbags turned off. <laughs> it's a French word. Bastia stands for lowlands. So I guess whoever named it Bastia was standing from this vantage point, and they said, "Yeah, would make sense." Yeah, would eh? <laughs> However, though, this is the largest, flattest area I think. Why they made it the town? Okay. So all that you see here. Here, you have the airport straight across. All the little mountains going on the back, right across down there, it's still sinking. Wow. The big island in the back is right. Nevis, going up to the clouds, you can barely see it. That's Nevis. And the nickname for Nevis is Snow Island. Snow Island? Yeah. Yeah. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> But however though, however, you know Christopher Columbus, you heard of him? Yeah. 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 That guy. Sorry, however man. though, Sorry sailing that, the into Nevis, he thought he saw snow. Because the cloud that is over Nevis is always there, basically. Right? So it looked like a snow-covered mountain. So he gave it the name Nieve. Nieve is a Spanish word for snow. So over time, you know, pronunciation and what's not, they walked right down to Nevis. So it's Nevis, and the nickname is Snow Island. <laughs> yeah. However, the Nevis is very prominent when it comes to U.S. history. Yeah, very. Um, there's one guy that's on your bills, the U.S. bill, that's not from the U.S. He's actually from Nevis. You want to take a guess who? No? Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. 
Yeah. No, it's um, Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Yeah. Alexander Hamilton. Hence why he was not a president. You heard about the Hamilton rule? Hmm? Yeah. In, in politics? That yeah. came from him. Ah, the what? Yeah. The Hamilton rule. He knows our history. <laughs> yeah. Explain, explain. What is the, the Hamilton rule? Um, whereas if you're not born a U.S. citizen, can't you can't be president. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it, it came up because of Hamilton, because he was famous, he was popular, and people, you know, that's what they wanted. wanted him to be yeah, and you know, somebody else along that road was like, ah, I don't think so, right? <laughs> so he got his prominence though for what I like to call he, he's the guy responsible for our problems, all of our problems. You ever heard the term "more money, more problems"? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That's the guy that came up with the paper dollar system. So he took us out of battering, re exchange of goods. Mm -hmm. So he gave us the whole paper dollar exchange. Right? So, and he's also instrumental in the Coast Guard system. Yeah, the Coast Guard was not originally come up to protect the shores, came up to tax hustle, um, smugglers. Mm -hmm. So back then, you know, in the 1600s or on that time, everything was sailboats. So everything was smuggled in. Things are still smuggling in now, but you know, it was predominantly sailboats. So he decided to get a few boats to man the coast, being that he was the first US treasurer. So he was the money guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he decided to tax these guys and out of that became well you All know now. Taxes. Well, yeah, that too. So Alexander Hamilton, our countryman from Nevis. As you know, St. Kitts and Nevis is one federation. Two islands, one federation. Alright? Um, Nevis again, there's also a next guy that he's not from Nevis, however he spent a bit of time in Nevis. John Smith. So you heard of John Smith down at um, oh, I can't believe he's slipping. Give it to me. No. No. no, no, that's a different. <laughs> no, the guy you have heard, um, you know, Pocahontas and oh, yeah. all that yeah. good stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Down in uh, Virginia. Yep. So he was the guy that um, founded the first U.S. town, John Smith. So coming, he was a European coming over from Europe. Nevis was the first place he landed in the Western Hemisphere. Spent about a year and a half there you know, recuperating from the long sail and the Atlantic, right? Remember again, there was no power boats. Mm -hmm. A lot of sail boats, you know, beat it up, you know, coming across the Atlantic, were beating up. So they stayed there, gathering equipment, you know, material stuff for about a year and a half before they make it back up to the US. Back then again, you cannot sail from Europe straight across to the US. Because, you know, your sail boats, you're using wind. Right. However, the wind map now, wind map coming from Europe, the winds come down to the Caribbean and swoop back up. Hence why anybody coming out of Europe, why most of the founding fathers that found America came to the Caribbean. Because you can't come straight across. Right. Well, unless you got a power boat like today. Right. Right. <laughs> right? So, again, Nevis has a lot, a lot of history when it comes to America and the founding fathers. Over there. off roading again we're about to get a little bit of a change in elevation before we're driving now yes sir how are you 
you know, it's very different here. They said they have three stoplights in the whole town. A lot of this land is government property. People just keep their cows on it. Um, they're very quickly changing their... Now we're burning up the car. I can smell it. <laughs> we're really going to turn this off for a little bit. It's fine. Uh, Um, we're changing to um, tourism and not the sugar cane industry. So we'll see what this man's about to tell us. We'll let you know. Okay, driver came back, told us to put it in four wheel Oops. low. Slipped it into four wheel. Thanks, about to get fun. Got the squad. Um, looks like the Jeep's not working up there. Their Jeep stopped working. They probably have the parking brake on. Don't know what happened there, but here we go. Corbin's pretending like he drives a manual. <laughs> Jumbo, everybody. I'd like to introduce you to what we have out here in the Serengeti. Keep in mind, we only have half a tank. Oh, we're going to need four wheel drive for this. Oh, we are going off-road. <laughs> I feel like we're about to see the brontosaurus come out and start eating the leaves and hear the... Okay. Think we'll get it up. Come on, baby. You got it. Ooh. More cows back there. This would have been nice at the top one. I do not see any monkeys. She knows what she's doing. You just gotta, you just gotta listen to her and let her, let her uh, tell you what she needs to make it happen. Right now, she's whispering. Need a little more, a little more gas, buddy. Need a little more gas. Just give her what she needs. Do a little rock climbing. Oh, way oh. Beautiful view from up here. Beautiful view. We're just touring, um, touring St. Kitts. We got about a pack of 10 Jeeps, I think. Um, we're up in the mountains right now. Um, we just had to go up. But there's a bunch of little lambs behind us. Well, let's see what we got here. There's a limping goat. Um, we're gonna stop, go to the beach maybe a little bit, have some fun. Yeah, have some sun. Have some sun. Should be a good time. We going? Jeep Nation. Jeep Nation. Did you hear that woman when uh, she came back from smoking? No, what she said? She said, look at all those cows. And our tour guide said, that's a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> I notice that people just drive wherever they want to in this, oh. in this island. Off-roading, baby. Off-roading, baby. This is like off-roading my Nashville, Tennessee. Not many hills, but we're going. 
This is actually an Australian accent though, so. Oh, uh, is it? I think so. I don't, I don't even know what the sound like here. Banana trees. Banana. -na. Watch for the horns. What's the thing you've been saying all week? Um, From that song? What is it? Skidipapapap. 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 It will start recording if you hit that button also. Uh oh, things getting exciting up in here. Should have took that off. Going down. Crossing the tracks. Stuck on the railroad tracks. Give a little gas, sweetheart. You got it. A little gas, baby. It's pretty steep. Oh, gosh. Oh. They don't give it that much gas. Oh uh, my gosh. Here we go. You guys ready? Jumbo! <laughs> Shit about the gyro. This thing's are awesome. What is love? Ow! Just, just drive a little bit easier. It's not fun if you drive easier. That, guys, was the off-road Jeep expedition and beach tour in St. Kitts through Carnival. The expedition part of that, the Jeep part of that, the off-roading stuff was all great you saw how amazing the views were from the top from the top of those mountains you could see down to the lowlands they called it we learned about the history of the area great pictures we had a really great time and the off-roading portion of it tons of fun it, it's always great to get off-road right it's also really cool because they drive on the left hand side of the road there so i got that experience driving left hand side of the road but in a left hand drive car so that was kind of fun the beach portion of this experience though uh not good awful the beach was dirty it was boring and i guess i will say I, i've been spoiled right because we had seen beautiful gorgeous beaches this whole time so this beach was a little bit of a letdown i guess one of the good things that i could say about the beach they did have a they did have a bar there and they gave you a complimentary drink as you came in and they did have wi-fi so you could you know take a few minutes to check all the people at home jealously liking all your pictures but besides that that beach did not have much to offer. With all that being said though, I would have, I'd, I'd go on the trip again. It was a little pricey. It was $89.99 a person because we went through the ship. As you know, if you're taking an excursion through a ship, you're gonna pay more money, right? But you have to you have to weigh it. It's a pro con situation. If you go through the ship and like something on this, if you were to like break down in the mountains and you're going through a carnival excursion, that ship is gonna wait on you. They're not gonna leave you. If you're doing it on your own, you might get lucky, you might not. And I would hate to get stuck somewhere as I was jeeping around in St. Kitts. Although if you're gonna get stuck somewhere, St. Kitts is probably a good place to get stuck. As all content creators have to say, please like, comment, and if you're enjoying what we're doing here and you wanna follow along, please subscribe. But with all of that being said, all of that stuff out of the way, Jeep Expedition, St. Kitts, Corbin there done that. Love you guys.